right to you, Colleen Lee Hunt. In this story, Pip Squeak, Kit Bags, Pip and Kit run Finder's Squeakers and lost a lost and found engine. They help return lost things to their owners. Island of Hawaii, Chapter One: The Holiday Begins. I love Hawaii, cried Pip. How do you know? asked Kit. We haven't even landed the aeroplane yet. My guidebook says it's one of the most amazing places on earth, replied Pip. She gazed out of the window at the island far below. Take us down, Kit. It took Pip and Kit only seven minutes to find the beach. We are now officially on officially officially on holiday," said Pip. Pip hopping on the um a deck chair. For once, I plan to forget all about lost things and relax. Not me. I'm going to be very active," cried Kit, holding his surfboard in one paw. He splashed straight into the sea. Pip pickled up her guidebook. One thousand and one fun facts about Hawaii," she sighed happily. Yoo-hoo! Kit called from the top of. A frosty wave. Are you having a good time? Pip waved at him. I am. She shouted back. How awesome! How about you? How about you? Awesome! Cried Kit, falling in. A voice. It's a voice. Oh no! cried the voice. It's gone. A girl with dark hair was zigzagging across the golden sand, peering under deck chairs. Where is it? She wailed. I won't be able to enter the competition without it. What's going on? said Kit, arriving backwards. Dripping wet fur. Sounds like someone needs our help. So, sounds like someone、Peep. needs our help. Pip said. Um, urgently. urgently. Cheer up, Lena. Ni. Le. Lena. Ni. Lena. Ni. Said the girl's mother, who was close behind her. It. It can't be far away. Lena sat down on the sand and began to sob. The competition is tomorrow. I can't take p- 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 part without my be- my 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 beautiful y- y- yellow. Pip and Kit waited for waited. Anxiously for the next word, ukulele. Rod, lay nanny. Chapter two. The holiday ends. What's a ukulele? Said Kit under his breath. It's a small four-string guitar. Replied Pip. I read about them in my guidebook. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Kit asked. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Kit asked. Pip nodded. The holiday is over. 
We have work to do. Excellent, said Kit, who didn't fancy falling off his surfboard again. I intend to find that missing ukulele, said Pip. She wrung her chin thoughtfully. Although if competition is tomorrow, we don't have long to solve the case. Tomorrow, then there's no more, not a moment to lose, cried Kit. The great ukulele hand is on. Pip and Kit hunted their pictures. They searched by cave tables, cafe tables. They even visited the ice cream stand. Despite their best efforts, they couldn't find any sign of a ukulele. The only thing they found was a poster glued to a street lamp. Missing bright orange ukulele. Please return to Noah. Two ukuleles have gone missing, Kit says, scratching his head. They saw another missing ukulele poster and another. That evening, as the sky fades from bright blue to candy floss pink, Pip and Kit couldn't count it. Counted up all the posters they'd seen. Then they started at each. They stared each at other. each other in horror. Seventy-five ukuleles were missing. Chapter three: The Vanishing Ukuleles. The ukulele competition is tonight and we still haven't found a signal instrument, said Pip. The next morning, she scratched her head. Where are they? Actually, there's one, said Kit. Pip stared, goggle-eyed, goggle-eyed at a boy who was standing near a palm tree. He was strumming a blue ukulele. Let's get a bit closer, suggested Kit. They hurried along the beach. Dodging an old grey donkey and its owner a skin to a stop in, skid skid to a stop in a shower of sand oh no said kit the boy now had a garland of flowers hanging around his neck but he was empty hand where did my ukulele go? He sobbed. Oh, <coughs> Pip and Kit spun round to see the grey donkey. Standing nearby, its face was framed with flowers. Let's interview that donkey, Pip said. Maybe she saw something. The donkey was called Mel Melody. 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 Why are you wearing all those garlands of flowers, Kip asked. They're called lies, explained Me mm. Melody. I wear them because they uh, smell nice. Have you seen any ukuleles? Pip, Pip asked. Melody gave a slight twitch. 
Just then, Melody's owner called out. He was an old man with silvery hair and a multicolored shirt. Melody, he cried. He, he said, said, we'd better get home. It's time for your lunch. I'm sorry, said Melody to Pip. Time to go. She trotted away. Let's see if anyone else can help us, suggested Kit. Look, there's a Hawaiian goose. This is a Canada goose, but it's not a Hawaiian goose, said Pip. We're looking for 75. Sorry, 76. Missing you, Kalilis, Kit explained to the goose who was called Nia. Nina. Nina, Nina, do you have any information that might help us to find them, added Pip. Nina scratched her head with her foot. I can't tell you, but the ukuleles, she said, but I can tell you, it's not the first time the competition has been under threat. 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 Poor bad Gaston. What happened? Pip asked. Oh, it was a long time ago, said Nina, shrugging. Now I'm off to meet some friends, and I really must fly. That was useful, said Pip. Writing in her notebook. What is? Was it? Said Kit. Uncertainly. Uncertainly. Oh yes, said Pip. We need to get to the library. Kit, can you get us there really fast? Kit grinned. He pulled his skateboard out from the behind. Helmet. Climb aboard and hold really tight. Chapter 4 The Library. In no time at all, they screeched to a halt in front of the library, which was a smart building with a high ceiling where a high ceiling. Where can I look? old newspapers pip asked a friendly gecko that was clinging to a wall clinging clinging to the wall the gecko you unstuck one foot from the wall and gestured towards gestured. a large room in there she said began to flick through the yellowing newspapers with one paw. What are we looking for anyway? he asked. Anything about the previous ukulele competition that Nia, Nila mentioned, Pip replied slowly. They made their way through the enormous pile of newspapers until Kit. The Hawaii Post. Bud's ukulele dream is over. Bud Gaston was horrified to discover that his ukulele strings had been snipped by a rival at this year's great ukulele competition, but was expected to win. But by the time he He'd got some new strings. The competition was over. I'll be back, promised Bud with tears in his eyes. Just wait and see. We need to find Bud Gaston, said Pip. I have 
have a feeling that he will know what happened to the missing ukulele. He checked the date on the newspaper. It won't be easy. This paper is over 20 years old. It might be easier than you think, said Kit. He pointed to the photo of Bud beside him with was a donkey. It was Melody. Melody's owner Bud, is Bud Gaston, said Pip. Kit, can you get us to the beach really, really fast? Kit put his helmet back on, gave a nod. Climb aboard and hold on really, really tight, he said. They rocked along the strings and Kit performed a trick on every corner. He swooped each time he jabbed, changed direction. Pip missed it all. Her eyes were squeezedly tightly shut. The great ukulele competition. At the beach, people were beginning to gather for the competition, but nobody had a ukulele. Pip and Kit couldn't see Melody or Bud Gaston anywhere, but they did see Nina. She waved and wept foot. At them. Have you found the ukuleles? She called. Not yet, replied Pip. Maybe I can help, said Nina. What you need is a bird's eye view. A bird's eye view? Of the island. A, the, what you need is a bird's eye view of the island. The, the island. The, I, the island. Wow, Kit, said Kit, clambing on to Nina's back. This it what? This, this is what I call flying in style. They soared into the air circling the island the, the. the island until they heard a faint strumming far below. Someone's playing a ukulele, said Nina. Quiet. We're going down. The music was soft and soothing and soothing. The sound floated out from the open window of a pretty blue and white cottage. Kit sighed, I've never heard anything so lovely, he said as they landed on the lawn. I know this tune, said Nina. It's Aloha E. Aloha Oe. Aloha Oe. It's a traditional Hawaiian song. Mm -hmm. The band passed. Pip, Kit and Nina crept closer to the cottage and peered through the window. Inside, Bud Gaston was holding a wooden ukulele and a gently strumming the strings were uh, in the presence of Great music and magician. Magician, murmured Pip, and a great thief. The room was full of stolen ukuleles. <laughs> he stole it. Stolen, you pay told the. What now? whispered Kit. 
Now, said Pip calmly, we need to get those. You can lead me back to their owners. She turned to Nina. Can you call some friends? Of course, Nina said, flapping off into the sky. And short time later, she was back with a flock of Hawaiian geese. Everything happened very quickly after that. that when Melody saw all the geese, she began to hee haw very loudly. But Gaston rushed outside. The flock of geese flew inside the cottage as soon as the door was open. Each one picked up a ukulele. Then the bird soared away, but knew that he had been defeated. At the beach, Bud told his story to everyone. I'm sorry, said Bud. Sadly, years ago, someone cheated, so I couldn't enter the competition it has a big influence on my life i thought that if i borrowed everyone else's ukulele this year i'd be the only com competitor then i'd win the other ukulele players couldn't help feeling a bit sorry for Bud. They agreed to forgive him. Now we can all take part in the competition, said Lini, Linani. 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 So how did Bob take the ukulele? He gave each of the ukulele players a light. The ukulele players. Not B. Ukulele players a light. Explain. A lay. A lay. Explain. Then while they were putting on the flower garland, he took the ukulele. At least he's he's learned his lesson now. He now said, "Pit, now let's relax and watch the competition." Said Pip happily. I can't. Kit grinned. Melody is letting me borrow one of Bud's old ukuleles. I'm taking part.